Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I'm so glad that you joined me today. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I painted these pictures or plaques, if you want to call them that, to show you the simple DIY that anybody can do with just paint that's lying around your house. I made my own chalk paint. I'm all about using things that we have at the house and use my rub and buff to, you know, accent them with it. So these pictures were just the gold pictures that you see lying around the thrift store. pass them up or sometimes you purchase them. I like them, but sometimes I brighten them up and then I'll transform and paint them black or I paint them white. And I think that with this piece right here, I really needed something that would accent this area. So my husband, thankfully, just opened up this wall right here. I'm super excited. I love how it looks in our kitchen that we can see our beautiful Christmas tree. So with older homes, a lot of times the kitchens are very small and closed in. And I'm all about keeping to the character of our home, but our kitchen just felt so tiny. We're a family of six, and when we all got in here, it was crowded. <laughs> we were bumping around. So we just opened up this wall. I've been staining this wood and I needed something to go in this spot and I'm super excited to share with you this DIY. I can't wait for you to join me today. Oh, by the way, grab your coffee. I've got mine here. I don't get this all the time, but my husband decided to treat me today with a venti dirty chai. So what that means is it has two shots of espresso because this mama needs the caffeine. So grab your coffee or tea, whatever you're drinking, and let me show you how you can transform your pictures or anything that's lying around your house. I'm gonna go ahead and start making my chalk paint. With this chalk paint, it is a super easy recipe. Um, that uses baking soda and I will share that recipe with you. I'm using my Sharon Williams alabaster paint. I really didn't have any chalk paint that I wanted to use that was like an off-white and alabaster is that perfect creamish color that is not too yellow and I wanted these pictures to have that um, softer look and not so stark white on my walls. My walls are ultra white by Sherwin Williams and so I went ahead and I used this recipe. I love it. I've used it before. Super easy. So I will start out by using a brush that I've had um, previously. I always try to save my brushes <laughs> until I forget them and they get hard. But I'm going to go through, put on a heavy coat of this chalk paint on both of these pieces. And you know, sometimes you can just do like a light coat and allow the shadowing to show through. But on these, I didn't really like. It's like a brownish, you know, not very pretty color and I really wanted to cover that up so that I can go through and accent it with the rub and buff. On these frames, I 
waited about an hour to an hour and a half before I did the rub and buff. Usually this chalk paint dries pretty fast, but because I put the coats on so heavy, there were certain areas that were not dry. And so I did have to wait a little longer for them to completely dry out before I added on the rub and buff. Now I'm going to add the Rub and Buff Gold Leaf. I've used the Rub and Buff Antique Gold, which I really like. Those two are my favorites. And I highly recommend Rub and Buff. You can use it on so many things. I've used it on my mirrors, on my handles, on my frames. I mean, just everything in your home you can use this on. And it just absolutely gives it an extra sparkle. Um, it brings life to a frame. So on this certain plaque, I'm going through and just touching the detail that I want to pop. So I don't really want to do a very heavy coat with this rub and buff because if you get too heavy, it I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Now I can always go back through with my paint and touch up areas I don't like because that's one of my favorite things about this. It's super easy, very usable, and if you make a mistake, you can always touch it up. this set I really like for them to match because they are going to be placed um, in the same area above each other so I really try to go through and see all the detail I did on the previous one and do the same thing and I also like using my finger because I have a lot more control with the rub and buff if you put it on really thick I just feel like it doesn't look as good so I typically do use my finger and I know I should wear gloves my mother always gets on to me for that but it's just so much easier when you do not I forgot to mention that I paid $3 each for these frames at our thrift store. 
And I'm always amazed at how you can make your home your own by using these simple pieces and you don't have to spend a lot of money. It just takes a little time and effort and maybe some paint and you can really transform any space and make it beautiful.